Allez. Alléluia. C'est ok. Alléluia. Shabbat shalom. Everybody, so today uh, I want to speak about a topic we discussed with my wife and uh, which I found uh, very interesting, especially for our brethren in the Philippines. I, I have heard of a wind of doctrine coming now across the Philippines and uh, bring confusion to many. And uh, today I want to approach this uh, topic to show you uh, the danger in uh, believing this uh, doctrine which, which are uh, brought to many by Jews. It concerns the Noahides law. So that many are Noahides and that they, it is enough if they follow the seven laws of Noah and uh, so they will have part in the Olamaba the life eternal which come after the millennium. So, first of all, are those law right or wrong? No, the law in themselves are not wrong. Do they apply to Noah? That is another question. The Torah apply to everyone, not only to uh, Israel. The, the law, the Torah apply to everyone, and I will prove you that. The Torah applied to every man on earth, every man. But now, first I want to uh, make a, give some details about the Noahides movement. The Noahides movement was uh, was um, enforced in the U.S. by a man called Menachem Schneerson, who dies in uh, New York in the 90s. So this man, uh, he is the one who spread the Noahides law, the law which gives control to the Jew to this world. You can go and Google and look for Menachem Schneerson and the Noahides law. You will feel a lot of details concerning his teaching. You can find also in uh, uh, in the, the the website which is a. Uh, Shabbat.org, Shabbat.org. This is a, the page from the, the, the Hasidim, the Pius one. And you will find many, many teachings. Anyway, if you are smart enough, you will compare with the teaching of Shaul, of uh, Yohanan, of Kepha, and you will see. Now, I will give you the list of the seven Noahides law, and then we will go on. Okay? First of all is to believe, to believe God. That is a, uh, Shemot, chapter 20, this is the first commandment, to believe that there is one God. Okay. Second, to walk righteous before God and do not blaspheme. Do not take the name of God in vain. Okay. This is one of the commandments. Not to kill. Oh, this is also the ten davas, the ten words. Not to steal. Not to commit adultery. Not to covet whatever others have. Establish courts, legal system to assure law obedience. These are the seven laws. You see, now, that's very interesting because they belong to the so-called Ten Commandments or Ten Words. You see, aha. Uh -huh. So, if they belong only for the going, as it is said, it go in contradiction with what the scripture teach. Because we read, I will try to find it in Shemot, in Exodus, we read clearly that there is one Torah. For whom? You may know it. For the native born and for the... Uh, I don't know if I will find it... Uh, uh, just wait, eh? because I have to find it, and I may not find it now, because uh, uh, anyway, now I don't have, uh, not in, it is written, there is one law, one Torah, for the native born, and for the stranger, the gear, okay, 
So you see, as soon as somebody comes among the Israelites, among the Hebrew, he needs to keep the Torah in order to be accepted. So this is not the seven laws. Noah was never commanded to uh, abide by seven laws. Noah, in the chapter 6 of the book of Bereshit, uh, Genesis, is called a righteous man, and he was perfect before Elohim. <clears throat> I want you to make clear that Noah was the father of Shem. Shem and Eber. From Eber, we are the Ivri. Ivri, which is Hebrew in English. You see? So the descendant from Noah. So <coughs> Noah kept the Torah of Elohim, Perfectly, perfectly, in each generation. Yes, there is difference with Moshe, because Moshe came and was added to the Torah because of the rebellion of the children of Israel, after the sin of the golden calf. After the sin of the golden calf. But this is another, another uh, teaching, so we will look at it later. We go back to the Noah Highness. I have to tell you, this is a one group, I don't say the Jew, eh? I say one group, of Jew who bring this doctrine to the Philippines in order to draw many away from the Mashiach, from Yeshua HaMashiach. And this is a very dangerous thing because if you do that, you will be in danger. You will be in danger. I say you don't. You will be in danger to lose your salvation. That's not a small thing because you trample the son of the living and knowing under feet and crucify him again. So this is what Paul teach in the book of Hebrew. Now, I want to show you something. I have said in the beginning that this, this law, this Torah, are in the heart of every man on earth. Every man, every single one. And I will prove you. Which law? First of all, to believe what we say here, not to kill, not to steal, not to commit adultery, not to covert, and to believe that there is one God. What is name? To believe there is one God. There is no many group who believe that there is one God. Because you have, you have the nations like India who have a thousand of gods. But you have Christians, Islam, and the, uh, the Jew, or the Israelite, who believe in one God. Wrongly or not, but they believe in one God. Okay, the one that believe that to be Trinity, the other one believe it is Allah, and the other one believe Deuteronomy 6 4, Shema Israel, Yehovah Eloheinu, Yehovah Echa. One. One God. And his son, Yehoshua HaMashiach. So, these people have the Torah. All, all in the earth have the Torah in their heart. Now I will show you that. Listen to what Shaul said in the book of Romans. Maybe you have read it and you don't have realized what he's saying there. But we go to the chapter 2 and we read. Uh, let me, uh, for, uh, from the verse 11. For there is no respect of person with Elohim. For as many as have sinned without Torah, shall so perish without Torah. And as many as have sinned in the Torah, shall be judged by the Torah. You see, there is two groups. Those who are in the Torah, those who are not in the Torah. For not the hearer of the Torah are just before Elohim, but the doer of the Torah shall be justified. We know that it is uh, the teaching of Jacob, James. Okay? For when the Gentiles, if you have, read my, uh, if you have listened to my uh, teaching on the Roman 11, you will see what the Gentiles. For when the Gohim, the nation, which have not the Torah, do by nature the things contained in the Torah, these having not the Torah, are a Torah to themselves. You see, they do the Torah without knowing Him. I will show you. Everyone on earth knows, even if they don't practice, that killing is bad. That stealing is bad. That committing adultery is bad. Even when, when they do that. So they bring judgment by doing that. Okay? Which show, verse 15, which show the work of the Torah written in their heart. Their conscience also bearing witness and thoughts the mean while as accusing or as excusing one another. You see, shall say that the Torah is written in the heart of every man. Either he is a Jew or not a Jew, he is a Goim or from the nation, the Torah is every man's heart. Because today I don't know somebody who do not know that uh, to steal is bad. 
Yes, they may do it. They, yes, of course they may do it. They will find excuses. You say that, they find excuses. Oh, yes, you know, my family yeah, has no, no nothing to eat. Oh, my family does. Oh, I am in the Philippines. We are more poor people. We need to do that. We need to do that. Yes, he say, while accusing or as excusing one another. You see, this is, but in the deep of their heart, they know that stealing is wrong. So they go against Elohim and become a Torah unto themselves. You see? So this Noah law is a trap because of the of the rejection of the true Mashiach, Yehoshua, Hamashiach, or the Yeshua. So I want to, to understand that don't play with the Nohides. Don't play with the Nohides and warn your friends who have turned to the Nohide that they are in danger of losing their salvation. Yes, I don't say they lose, I say they are in danger. Because once we have received the truth, if the truth is not in our heart, we are finished. We walk in our mind, not in the heart. We walk after the reasoning of our mind. And this is where the end begins. So my friend, just think about that, and you will see that uh, Noah Hydus is really a, a very bad story to the world today, especially to the Philippines. And I wish with all my heart to come to uh, put straight that before many in the Philippines. Okay, so shalom and see you next for another teaching.